everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my morning routine on a day that I would wear a little makeup. I just realized that throughout the years, it's changing. I used to be like an eyeliner everyday gal, and now I'm not that at all. So I wanted to start documenting it and showing you what I do to keep a fresh look. Now that I've made it through my phase of wearing powder foundation that was too dark for my face, or wearing eyeliner on my waterline as well as on the eyelash line, I think that I found a pretty like fresh and simple look that I am able to do every day and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just gonna show you a few of the steps. Mostly this is for me to just document what products I'm using every year and what my routine is. I come to you with a bare face today and we're just gonna start piling on products. Okay, let's start with the first one. The first product that I usually use on my face in the morning and when I'm ending the day at night is this Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser. I used to use exfoliant scrubs and like minty morning wake up, like face washes, but I realized using those like peppermint oils on my skin or using those exfoliating beads wasn't good for my dry skin or for my sensitive skin, so. I stopped that, this one's more simple, and I feel like it's gentler on the skin. After I wash my face, I usually pat it dry with a towel, and then I spray it with some Mario Badesco um, facial spray. This one has aloe sage and orange blossom in it. As I mentioned, I'm pretty sure in my makeup review video, I know Hiram doesn't like Mario Badesco, okay, but I like to finish a product when I buy it. I'm not just gonna throw this away. So since I already washed my face, I'm just gonna start with this today. It's just, I like adding a mist before I moisturize because I feel like adding a little moisture to your face helps you absorb the moisturizer better. I don't have a problem with just, I would spray my face with plain water, I would. After I give my face a little spritz, I recently started using this Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. I mean, I do think it just makes me glow more after adding my face moisturizer. I couldn't tell you if I've noticed much with like my dark spots or anything yet. Is that more than enough? I don't know. I usually just rub it in. I don't know what I'm doing. And sometimes it gets like white and foamy and it makes me think that I didn't get all of my like face wash off. <laughs> but that's just how it is. Now that that's all rubbed in, I'm already glowing a little bit. It like gives you that natural highlight already while also helping me with like dark spots and acne. So thank you, Ordinary. And it was only like $5. So anyway, you'll see the trend throughout most of these products is that I found them. They look like they were useful. They had what I needed and the price was good. So onto the face moisturizer. I started using the Olay Complete Daily Moisturizer that has SPF in it. I think because a friend recommended it to me, but it like keeps you shining and makes you glow. And this bottle is like empty, so I'm gonna struggle here for a second. Then I'm gonna moisturize my face. I just put it on my fingertips and then drag it down. <laughs> Anybody else do that? Anyone? I already look alive. <laughs> Did it before, do now. I think this is like my second bottle of this Olay Complete. So my use of SPF has been recent, but better start as soon as you know. You know what I'm saying? On a day when my lips are feeling particularly dry, I like to go over them with a lip scrub by e.l.f. It just has like a lipstick looking component, but it has pieces of like sugar in there to scrub your lips. And then you just have to find all the sugar pieces <laughs> that you missed when you rub it in. And there's a little bit of like chapstick sort of like moisturizer already in there, but I like to go over my lips with a little bit of shea butter. This is actually my cousin's company that distributes this. 
I'll tag them down below. But like perfect, shea butter has so many uses. You can moisturize your skin, you can put it on your scalp. I use my little bottle for my lips. The next three products are all Maybelline products because, listen, I can find it at a Walmart, I can find it at a CVS, and that's what we're going for right now. So this first one is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter, and then I just have this brush. Oh, the brand's e.l.f. It's the bronzing brush, but I use it for highlight. Sue me. And then I really just feather it in the general vicinity of where highlight goes. It's doing something. It's doing what it's meant to do. Now this is one of the newest steps, like probably, not this highlight, but like my general highlight of the year has been starting to use gel, like clear gels on my eyebrows. After a good tweeze, these like clear gels are perfect for getting the shape that you want. This one is the um, Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt. I've also tried the the Benefit Cosmetics Clear Eyebrow Gel, and that one actually like glues it down your eyebrows for the whole day. I do want to invest in that one, but this one was just at the CVS down my street, so that's what we've ended up with here today. But it's just so fun. Like, I don't know how I wasn't making my brows feathery before. It's just, hello? Wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Brow Fast. And then, of course, I use mascara. This is like usually my go to. This is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational. I just feel like I look so much more awake when my mascara is done so if there's anything i have to do before i leave the house it's mascara that is my mascara all complete this is literally all i put on my face a highlighter a brow gel and a mascara and all of my products right now are maybelline thank you maybelline sponsor me <laughs> at least like now i look more hydrated i look more alive at least i feel like it listen is that not world's difference Tell me, tell me, to me it is, to me it is. I've never learned the art of like the foundation, the concealer, the bronzer. So maybe in 2021, that'll become a part of the routine, but this is what we have right now, okay? This is what we have. And then to finish it off, even though I know this is not a face product, I'm using Victoria's Secret Bombshell Perfume right now because I have nothing else. And it just gives me that extra boost of confidence when I'm ready in the morning and I just want to smell like a boss. Thank you all for watching my like morning transformation video. Please leave any like affordable products you've incorporated in your routine down below. You all saw how empty my face moisturizer was. If you have another one that includes SPF or maybe a duo from the same brand of face moisturizer and SPF, please let me know, I'm looking for a new one. I'm always down to like try new things, but I'm also a very simple gal, so this is what we have for my face routine of 2020. Hopefully next year you'll see more sustainable products in my makeup routine. I like to finish things completely before I move on to new things, so that is my routine so far for this year. I'm hoping to just continue learning more about what works for my face and finding products that I love. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.